Hey guys, welcome to Dominate Fishing. I'm Dan Meyer, and in this short video, we're going to talk about six reasons people don't catch crappies even when they think they should be. I get a lot of questions, you know, people ask me what they're doing wrong, and they list all the things that they're, they're doing right, why they should be catching crappies, and they're still not. And a lot of times, it boils down to some something small, some little mistake. So in this video, we're going to be talking about common mistakes that you know crappie fishermen make that prevent them from catching a bunch of crappies. So digging right into this, number one, one common mistake people make, and it, it you know it, it's kind of surprising. You wouldn't think this would be a common mistake, but the first mistake we're going to look at here is they're fishing lakes. They're doing everything right, you know. They're you know, they're searching out the right spots. They're using the right lures, right presentation, doing everything right. But the lake they're fishing is not a good crappie lake. It just does not have a big population of crappies. So you can do everything right, but if the lake that you're fishing doesn't have a big crappie population, there's a pretty good chance you're not going to catch a lot of crappies, at least not consistently. So there's, there's things you can do about that. You know, you can talk to local bait shops. You can do some online searching, word of mouth. You know, those are ways to find out if a lake has a good crappie population or if there's reason to believe it does. But sometimes the only way to find out is to just fish it. But in that case, you know, if, if you fished it a few times and you fished it thorough, you're not catching any. There's a chance it's just not a good crappie lake and it's time to move on. I'm all the time looking for new spots, looking for new lakes, using all the avenues I can online, word of mouth, you know, talking to bait shops, just talking to anybody, trying to just get the name of a lake. But I spend a lot of time just checking new lakes to see if I can find, you know, crappies or not. And that's how I find a lot of my new lakes. So, number two. Number two is they're on a good crappie lake, but the spot that they're fishing there's just no crappies and this one all happens to a lot of people you know you'll have a little you know hypothetical lake here here's kind of you know a bay area up in there there's some weeds in this bay um, you know and it's <clears throat> early spring and you know guys are fishing and they're catching crappies up in those weeds well you know spring progresses a little bit the water warms up they're still fishing there and they're not catching any crappies. Well, the reason is they move. They're not there. You, you could sit there forever and just not catch many because they're not there. You need to be able to follow crappies on their seasonal moves so you can stay on them because, you know, they're not always going to be in the weeds here. They might have moved out deep. They might have moved over here to, to, to spawn. They're going to move throughout the year. So that happens to a lot of people. They caught crappies in one area, the fish moved, but they keep going back to that same area and fishing and not catching any fish. So to, to help this, you need to understand crappies' seasonal moves. You need to be able to, you know, find them as they move. To help out with that, that's why I created my seven-step crappie locating system. Uh, it's free. You can get it by clicking on the link in the description of this video. Uh, Tons of people have already taken it, but if you, or have already downloaded it, but if you haven't, just click on the link in the description of this video. You can get my seven-step crappie locating system that shows you the steps that I use to follow these fish, or more to find new fish. That's really what the system is designed for. So, <clears throat> the the third mistake, or the third thing that prevents people um, from catching crappies, even when they say you know think they should be is patience they're they're not patient enough and if you have watched a lot of my videos you know one thing that I like to do is move around I don't give the fish a ton of time in a spot but that's not what I'm talking about I'm talking about being patient with with your presentation so let me give you an example a few years ago I was fishing crappies um, in a reservoir in the southern US and it was during the spawn and we were fishing cypress trees and we weren't um, so when you fish cypress trees 
the crappies they will spawn around the root system. If you, there's all kinds of roots all over in these trees and that's where the crappies will be. So I, when I first got there it was the first time I, I fished the, you know I fished in this type of situation this was quite a while ago. I got I was told you know you got to fish in these trees and you got to fish the roots. So I would pitch my bait up there, wait a few, you know, wait a few seconds, no bites, pitch it to a new spot, wait a few seconds, no bites, and I wasn't getting anything. And you know, I talked to some local guys that night, kind of at the camp where I was staying, and they're like, "No, you got to fish each individual root, and you got to give them, you know, like seven seconds per root." So when we started doing that. It was, we started catching fish. We were fishing the same trees where we hadn't gotten anything, and uh, when we went back, we were getting them. That also can happen to a lot of people if you're fishing like a weed bed in the spring. Um, you know, sometimes you got to let that that bobber just sit in one spot for you know a little while to get those fish to bite because they're they're a little they're a little bit slower. They're not always really aggressive unless it's a really warm day. So. So sometimes you got to be patient in your spot. <clears throat> so number four is presentation. This one gets a lot of people. They're using, they found, they're fishing where the fish are. So they they did the hardest part. They found the fish. Again, you're fishing weeds. They're fishing the wrong, you know, presentation for the time of year. You know, maybe they're casting. You know, a beetle spin or a micro crank. It's early spring. They're bringing it through there, and the fish just are not aggressive enough to hit it. It's a, it's a sunny, calm day. <clears throat> they're throwing that micro crank up in there and bringing it through. Fish don't want it. Whereas they fish the same spot. Had they thrown a slip bobber in there, they would have caught it. So, they're in the right spot, but they're using the wrong presentation. Um, <clears throat> Then our fifth mistake is they're using the wrong lure. This will happen a lot of times too throughout the year, you know, winter, spring, it doesn't matter. You know, they're using a lure that's too big. When the crappies are finicky, they want something small, um, kind of in the same vein. They're using a lure that's chartreuse. They want pink. They're using pink. They want chartreuse. So the wrong lure or the wrong lure color combination, that's another thing. You can be in the right spot where the fish are, but not catch any because you're using the wrong presentation. Okay, so number five, or sorry, number six, our final one is the time. Time, you know, it could be time of the year, but really we're time of day. For example, let's say out here we got, you know, some breaks. This is 20 foot. Here between the 15, 20 foot, we've got a brush pile man-made brush pile, you know, fish shelter, crib, whatever you want to call it. You, you know, your buddies told you, oh yeah, yesterday we were out on this brush pile, we hammered them. You know, you go out on there, you know, you heard about it during the day, you go out there that night, catch nothing. Next day you go out there at night, catch nothing. Well, the reason could be they were fishing this brush pile during the day, which is a great time to fish brush piles. You were there in the evening and the fish had moved shallow. So, the time of day can play a difference, you know. Your buddy crushed him up here in the weeds, you know, at night. You go there, fish all day, catch nothing. You leave, he comes back in the evening and crushes them again. So, fishing the right, you know, the right time for the, you know, the spot you're fishing is also very important. So, these are, you know, what prevent fishermen from catching fish even though they think they sh you know they're doing everything else right they just missed a small detail and that can be what kept you know what cost them the fish so I hope this video helped you if it did make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel to, for more videos just like this also you make sure you grab my seven step crappie locating system um, and I will see you guys next time